For this lecture, we are moving into the book of Judges. The book of Judges is extremely interesting, and I think that you'll really enjoy it. We've moved out of Joshua, and we find ourselves living in the land, and the people of God are trying to figure out exactly how they now live in the land now that they've taken it over. Um, so if you're considering your world of the text right now, let me make myself a little bit smaller. Here we go. Um, Joshua ended with this rosy picture of the division of the land. Things had gone really well. And like I mentioned, if the Old Testament had ended with Joshua, we would have had that Abrahamic covenant locked down. So it didn't end with Joshua, though. And when we turn the page to Judges, we're going to find out that it may not have been such a rosy picture after all. Um, because when we turn to jo or when we turn to Judges, we find out that the people of God have in fact failed to drive out all of the inhabitants of the land. Some people are still living there, and that's going to um, create some trouble. You guys remember that the person in charge of writing this continuous narrative from Joshua through 2 Kings is the Deuteronomist, who we're referring to as Hermione, right? So Hermione is writing this story, and she loves Deuteronomy, and one of the things that Deuteronomy says is that it's necessary to drive out all of the people of the land so that the people of God are not tempted to worship other gods. Great idea, a uh, good point as far as Hermione is concerned, but when we get to, and when we end with Joshua, we're like, they've done it, things are gonna go great. But when we turn the page to Judges, we find out that, oh, they haven't completely done it. It's the difference between a bird's eye view um, and saying, okay, it's completed, and then getting down a little bit closer and finding, oh, actually there's a pocket here and a pocket there. So that's where we're at with Judges. Um, and here's your verse from Deuteronomy that talks about driving out everyone in the land. And remember that Hermione loves Deuteronomy. And so this is a part of her ongoing narrative and the ways in which the people of God fail to keep the law and end up in exile. All right, I lost my, oh, there we go, okay. Um, so here is a breakdown of what you're gonna find in the book of Judges. We've got one story after another of these different judges um, arising and taking care of Israel for a certain amount of time. Now, the way that Hermione or the Deuteronomist chose to present this material is with Othniel first, then Ahud, then Shamgar, then Deborah. And so the way that, that the Deuteronomist has presented it is as a continuous narrative. First this person, then this person, then this person, then this person. Each one of these people being different judges or leaders of Israel. Um, most scholars today think that what actually happened was that the Deuteronomist sat down and had just a bunch of different stories of different tribal leaders um, from a bunch of, look, you can see all of their different tribes, from just a bunch of different tribes all throughout Israel, and that your editor, your Deuteronomist, arranged them in a way to tell this story um, so that we could see that from the time of the first judge to the time of the last judge, things just were getting worse and worse and worse. And so it's not actually historically the case that first Othniel judge and then Ahud and then Shamgar. Rather, what your Deuteronomist has done is arrange the judges in such a way to tell a continuous narrative. What may actually have been the case is that Ahud was judging in Benjamin at the same time, ooh, sorry, at the same time Tola was judging in Ephraim, if that makes sense. So you've got Benjamin right here. It could have been that Ahud was judging and then also that Tola was all the way up in Ephraim, uh, or just, yeah, I guess it's not very far up at all, or just right there. So many of these judges may have ruled over their own tribe for a certain amount of time concurrent with another judge, 
but that's not the way that the Deuteronomist chose to tell the story. Rather, the Deuteronomist told the story to show, look at these years of peace. So Othniel rules and has 40 years of peace, then we have 80 years of peace, then 40, then 40. One thing that you will notice about the years of peace is that they get smaller and smaller and smaller. Um, and that is indicative of what's going on in the entire book of Judges, that we're seeing just this pattern of people not following after God, like they're supposed to according to the law, and they continue to be cursed because of it. Now, I want us to do something. Oh, here are all of your, these are where all the different judges would have been. Um, I want you to do something for me. I've got set out for you the um, seven most important episodes, I guess, in the story of the judges. And what I want you to do, I've broken you down into groups alphabetically. You don't have to work together. You can work individually or you can work together if you want to, um, maybe via email or something. Um, but I've broken you down into groups and I have each group dealing with a different judge. And what I want you to do, whether you do it together or individually, is read through, for instance, the story of Ehud and pretend that you're going to make a movie about Ehud. And what I want you to do is figure out if this is a comedy or a drama. Ehud is one of our first judges. And then, um, I want you to say who you would cast and in the document that you create for this um, or on the discussion board, I want you to attach a picture of each one of the people that you would cast in each one of the roles. And then I want you to write a brief synopsis just so that we can get to know these judges better. And then I will reconvene with you and we will talk more about the judges. So. This is an effort to, for all of us to get to know the judges. I'll post it in the assignments, and this will be one of your assignments that you do along with our lectures. And then after you've completed that, you can come back and learn more about the judges. I know probably not all of you will do that because I've unlocked everything, but um, this is a graded assignment. So I do want you to do it. And each one of these judges, Ahud, Deborah, Gideon, Jephthah, Samson, um, all of them will be on the test. And then those of you who have the concubine and the story of the wives for Benjamin, all of that stuff will be on the test too. So I want you to take some time to get to know these judges and provide um, definitely who you would cast so that we can start kind of envisioning these people in different roles. And uh, I'm thinking along the lines of like, Ahud is Jack Black or Deborah is uh, Sigourney Weaver. Um, gosh, I'm saying old actors and actresses now because I'm old. So probably you'll have other ideas, but that's what I want you to come up with. Um, and we'll get to know your judges better and then we will reconvene here. So do that for me and then we can have a bit more fun.